Rolex had three axes. Typographical error. Fact me second. Genuine mm. Rolex, ten bucks. I also got pens and stationery real cheap. Why does it all say City Zoo? I used to work there. The office supplies were my seventh package when I, uh, left to pursue other opportunities. You mean you were fired? Fired? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. They begged me not to go. Now, come on, buy a watch. Mm, I don't know. Huh. Okay, okay. I'm a victim of oppressive corporate bureaucracy. Yeah, yeah, they fired me. I was a hard-working entrepreneur, smuggling in junk food, dirty magazines, files hidden inside cakes, until a stool pigeon, an actual stool pigeon, ratted me out. So stand up for free enterprise. Fight the man. Buy a luxury timepiece, Pooch. I'm Olive. What's your name? Martini. For you, Olive, nine bucks. Oh. Are you selling counterfeit watches again? I warned you. Out first of all, they're real Rolexes. Second, I was giving them as a Christmas gift to my dear old friend Olive. Right, Olive? Uh, that's right. Thanks, Martini. Hmm. I'm watching you, Penguin. Don't forget it. Thanks for helping me out there, Olive. Here. Merry Christmas. Hey, thank you. Nine bucks. <sighs> Where were you, Olive? It's late. It's not late. It's... Uh -huh. How are your dog chores coming? Did you bury any bones today? No, Tim. Chase any cars or cats? Afraid not. Did you even make a token attempt to tear up any flower beds? Uh-uh. And I haven't heard any senseless barking at all. Woof. I don't know how you can call yourself a dog, Olive. Come on, Tim. You know I'm not for that silly stuff. I've tried to be man's best friend by being your best friend, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get with the program, Olive, and start acting like a dog. I'm sorry, Tim. Let's not fight at Christmas. There's no Christmas this year. <sighs> He's known for years that you're not like other dogs. He even teases you for having a pet flea. Why is he so upset all of a sudden? Ever since he was tiny, Tim has loved Christmas. But he thinks there's no Christmas this year. I don't know why. Are you still going to give him the slippers? Yeah. I probably should have chewed them first. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I wouldn't give for opposable thumbs. Hey, how about some music? That might cheer you up. 
description I wear fit. <laughs> Dogs, do you smell your best when you're wet? Check out the Marzipan Shack's pre ramadan clearance sale. Huh? What is it? High-pitched sound only I can hear. Forget it. Tonight on Fox, the world's wildest mistletoe accidents. <laughs> Recapping our top story. Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas <gasps> Eve flight. Blitz and the reindeer was injured earlier today during a practice flight and won't recover in time. Oh, no! Santa had this to say. Ho, ho, ho! I'm not sure if I'll have to cancel, but it doesn't look good. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. But if not, Merry Christmas anyway. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? He said maybe we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. You silly flea. No. He said Olive, the other reindeer. I heard him. Santa needs you to be the replacement reindeer. That's crazy. That's why you're not interested in chasing cars and barking like an idiot. You're a reindeer, not a dog. That would explain a lot, but I just don't think so, Fido. I'll bet Tim would rather have you pull Santa's sleigh than chase flower beds and tear up cars, or whatever. I'm sure he would, but... I'm serious, Olive. You've got to get to the North Pole. But even if I... Olive! Uh-oh, here comes Tim. I really don't want to get yelled at again. Hide! <laughs> Olive, I came to apologize. What did he say? I think he said, I'm ashamed of all your lies. What? You didn't do anything wrong. Santa's not flying, and I took it out on you. You always do everything wrong. Santa's not flying, and I shook it. A trout fondue. We can still have Christmas. Come on in the house. I'm lighting the Yule log, and there's a space for you. You can't kill my Christmas. Get out of this house. I'm getting a new dog, and I'm replacing you. Olive, are you there? Olive! He's gone. Tim's getting a new dog. He's replacing me. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't heard it myself. You were right. I've got to get to the North Pole and pull that sleigh. Tim seems to blame me for Santa not flying, but maybe I can still be his dog if I can be Santa's other reindeer. Now you're talking. All of the other reindeer. Hooray! Gotta go. I'll call you. Bye, Fido. I love you. Could you finish wrapping those presents? I am sorry I wrapped you up, Eddie. Merry Christmas! Cartoon Network Holiday Rush. Lots of great shows! We've got the right! Oh. Mm -hmm. Six nights a week. We've got the news. Come take a peek. Tonight, we've got the holiday special of Christmas Dinosaur. Mom and Dad are down their spot, so I couldn't nuke these. Everyone gets hungrier around the holidays. It's Cartoon Network's Holiday Rush, tonight at 7.30 on Cartoon Network. I can tell you this. Two exciting new movies for your holiday list. I have a message to deliver. <laughs> Valiant is soaring on the DVD. Wish me luck! <laughs> And for more groove and fun, ah, you can check out Kronk's new groove. Well, we've not excited for. Except for that. Valiant and Kronk's new groove. New on DVD. Each sold separately. Rated G. It's all coming together. I'm cooking. I'm crazy. I live in a hole. Let's go. Whack a mole. Whack those wacky moles. Send them back in their hole. But you gotta be quick or else. <laughs> Guacamole from Milton Bradley. Batteries not included. Practice and I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese's. The non-stop fun of Chuck E. Cheese's. What did you do to deserve it? You've got talent. Check, check, check. One, two, three. Is this on? Okay, here goes. Hi, hi, puppy. I'm a Yumi. We'll now be rocking your TV five nights a week. And you know what that means? It means more rough. More roll! Awesome. And more! Now put some stank on it, Mama! And show me the puppy Ami Yumi I know and love! Uh, yeah, uh, more of that. <laughs> it's High High Puppy Ami Yumi, appearing five nights a week, Monday to Thursday at night, only on Cartoon Network! Oh, 
Oh, that's okay, Olive. No harm done. Aren't you going to kick me or spray me or something? No, not today. Wow. I guess you've really got the Christmas spirit. That's right. The no more Christmas spirit. Did you hear? Santa's not flying. He's through. Yes, but... At last. We're breaking the cycle of despair. By next year, people will have forgotten about Christmas. What's the matter with Christmas? The matter? The matter? In the summertime, the delivering's so easy. My bag is light and the world is fresh, but by autumn I'm getting queasy. The shoulder strap tears at my flesh. I'm a zombie by Thanksgiving. With four weeks torture still to come, this is no way to make a living. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. One flimsy little Christmas card. Surely that can't be too hard. But multiply it a billion fold and see why Christmas leaves me cold. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. They cut down bigger, fatter logs so I can bring more catalogs. First class, third class, book great book. Is it any wonder why I sulk? Christmas, bah, bug and hum. Send a friend a two-ton gift. I don't mind, I love to lift. Especially when the weather's freezing. Oh yes, I love the Christmas season. Christmas, bah, bug and hum. By now my ligaments are toast. But here it comes, more puzzle post. Why not splurge, send it priority. What's one more pain in my posteriority? Posteriority? So here's one vote for cancellation of all that Christmas celebration. It Santa's grounded, that's a start for taking strain off my poor heart. So turn around, go back home, Rover. As of now, Christmas is over. Hate to disappoint you, but I'm going to the North Pole to save Santa's flight. You're not a reindeer. You can't fly. You can't do anything. You wait and see. I'll be zooming right over your head, pulling that sleigh. And it will be a Merry Christmas, even for you if you let it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bus to catch. Nobody's going to help that lousy old Santa. Stay away from the North Pole, or I'll hand cancel you. Riding or chasing? Riding. I need a ticket to the North Pole. Bus N34 connects at Arctic Junction boarding right now. I'll take one ticket, please. Make that two tickets. Hi, old buddy. Can you pay for my ticket? No, Martini. Why don't you go pursue other opportunities? Come on. I I'll pay you back later. I it's Christmas. There's no room at the inn. Please. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely the last time I help you out. Okay. <laughs> Let me go. This dog uh, committed uh, mail fraud. I'm uh, taking her into custody. <laughs> mail fraud, Olive? Cool. Well, see you around. What's all this about? <laughs> She's wanted for several counts of mail fraud, including uh, licking the uh, self-adhesive stabs and... <laughs> Not mailing early for the holidays. <laughs> Martini! Help me! <laughs> Last call for bus N34, service to the North Pole. Martini! I'm innocent! I'll root for you on court TV. Help me, Martini! I helped you! Uh. <laughs> me for those pens. Come on! Grab my tail! Quit wagging it! Whoa! No! No! Thanks, Martini. That postman is bad news. Ah, don't mention it. So how come you're going to the North Pole? Blitzen's hurt, so they need another reindeer or they can't fly. I heard Santa on the radio saying that he needed all of them. The other reindeer. <laughs> huh?
Excuse me, Yala, but Santa said all of the other reindeer. I'm afraid you just misunderstood. It happens all the time. I used to think the Pledge of Allegiance was about me, Richard Stans. It's not? Well, you'd think Santa asked you to pull his sleigh. That's sweet. I almost hate to point out that you're a dog. I really think I am a reindeer. I've always been different than other dogs. And somebody has got to do something or it won't be a very Merry Christmas. Well, more power to you then. And why are you going to the North Pole, Martini? Well, I figure if Christmas is canceled, maybe I can pick up all of Santa's toys cheap and make a bundle on them. Also, I need to cool off. Ooh, amen to that. <gasps> hey, are you going to the North Pole? Oh, the North Pole metropolitan area. We were vacationing down here. The 40-degree temperatures were fun for a while, but whew, it'll be nice to get home. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Oh, sure. They're really big. Two or three times bigger than you. And they have hooves instead of paws. Mm -hmm. And their fur is much thicker than yours. And the magnificent antlers. And they really can fly. Well, that all may be true, but I'm a reindeer just the same. Listen, uh, Olive, I'm from a zoo. I know reindeer. I work with reindeer. Reindeer were friends of mine. You, Olive, are no reindeer. I'm strong for my size. And however it is that they can fly, magic beans or whatever. Years of practice, plus jetpacks. I know you're all trying to be helpful, but sometimes in life you just suddenly know exactly what to do. Yeah, like the time I suddenly had no brakes going down the mountain road. What did you do? Hmm, I don't remember. But I guess it must have turned out all right. Maybe we should have taken a train. Should I tell him? Nah, it's Christmas. <laughs> Don't think. Now from the Barbie Mini Kingdom come your favorite Barbie princesses in a new mini size. The Barbie Mini Kingdom princesses. There's Barbie as Rapunzel with her beautiful long flowing hair. Odette from Barbie of Swan Lake with pretty wings. And Annalise and Erica as the princess and the pauper. And because they're so small, you can collect them all. Now it's into the Barbie Mini Kingdom carriage. And off they go for a magical ride. Barbie Mini Kingdom dolls with many accessories and horse and carriage set each sold separately. This Christmas... Whoa! Tire swing, not ready. There are a dozen reasons to celebrate. Hey, Murta, this is our year. Cool. Cheaper by the dozen too, rated PG. The bakers are definitely back. Wednesday. A couple of hours. <laughs> Olive! Where, oh, where can she be? Oh, I was too hard on her. Now I've really ruined Christmas. 
She's doing. So I pointed out to the judge that technically it wasn't a pyramid scheme because I had... Arctic Junction! Arctic Junction! Connect here for the North Pole! How long till that bus leaves? Almost an hour. We've got time to grab some food if you want. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. What will you have? The bone. Dressing on the side, please. I'll try the deep-fried candy canes. Ah, uh, the small dead fish sampler. Maybe I should have tried the reindeer chow. Here's the latest from the North Pole. Santa Claus has scheduled a press conference for 11 o'clock tonight. He is expected to cancel his flight for the first time ever. Aww. Hey, everybody! Don't despair! I'm Olive, and I'm going to the North Pole to help Santa. I'm the other reindeer. What's the matter? Haven't you people ever seen a small dog-like reindeer before? I live, I live, I live, I live, I live. Okay. You're Olive, the other reindeer? Santa's looking for you. He's out in the parking lot. He wants to give you a flying test. Oh, boy. My big moment. Wish me luck, guys. Coming, Santa! I think the waitress likes me. Santa? Santa couldn't make it. <gasps> but I'll let him know you failed the test. <laughs> 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 Neither rain nor snow, etc., will keep me from keeping you from the North Pole and saving Christmas! Ugh. It's beginning to look nothing like Christmas. Poison me, Sudo. Dear Santa, I hate you, and I hope you never come again. Stay home. Love, Bobby. Hmm, that's strange. Ooh. Hey, don't tamper with the mail. It's a federal offense. But it's addressed to me. Oh, okay then. <sighs> Great for zoo monkeys. Hmm. Postal regulations require you to stay put and keep quiet. We found the waitress' clothes. How'd you get away? It's kind of hard to explain. Have you ever heard of Deus Ex Machina? Denise who? Look it up. But listen, we missed the bus. You should have gone on without me. Ah, uh, spare me the modernum. I just called the postal service to complain about that postman. Guess what? I got that voicemail. How can we get to the North Pole now? That was the last bus. I'd take care of myself, Olive, but if I don't get back to the depot on time, I'll lose my job. I'm sorry. You could always sell watches. You might find someone in the bar who'll take you up. We'll try it. Thanks, Richard, for everything. I'm rooting for you, Olive. You other reindeer. Merry Christmas. And, uh, Happy Hanukkah. to the North Pole so I can help pull the sleigh and save Christmas. Anyone? You don't look like no reindeer to me, Mutt. Well, I am, and my name's Olive. Can you fly? Um... Oh, sure, she can fly. She can fly like a bird. Like the kind of birds that fly, I mean. Oh, really? Let's <gasps> see. Oh! 
Amazing. Just what Santa needs. Uh, oh! It's a miracle. We found another flying reindeer, and Christmas is back on again. Oh! Ow! Sorry, Arturo. Please, just let me... Hey, let's take her up to the roof and see how she flies. <laughs> That's enough, fellas. Uh, we'll just leave now. We don't want any trouble. Oh, it's Mr. Briefcase. Let's see what you got in there. Watch it, pal. That's valuable merchandise. It's mine. Oh, 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 oh. A barking reindeer. Isn't that just... Stow it, Tundra Breath. Maybe I'm just a little runt with no antlers, but it looks like I'm the only one who's trying to save Christmas. You could at least wish me luck. There are actually people out there who want to cancel Christmas. Are you on their side? Uh... Mm. Throwing someone off a roof. Is that how you want to remember Christmas? You must have asked Santa for something. Do you think you deserve what you've asked for? Hmm. It's a two-way street. Santa doesn't just give you stuff because you ask. You have to deserve it. I'm trying to deserve the good things I have. And the good things I hope I will have in the future. If you want me to fail, then I guess it's too late to save Christmas. It's already gone. Come on, Martini. I am sorry I wrapped you up, Eddie. Merry Christmas! Jingle bells. Ring in the holidays with now that's what I call Christmas. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. 36 Christmas wishes from some of your favorite artists come together on two CDs to celebrate this joyous time of year. Young or old, you'll find your holiday favorites gathered on this two CD collection. With your paid order of Now That's What I Call Christmas, you'll also receive this embroidered velvet gift bag free. A perfect gift for giving or for holding your Christmas treasures. Happy holidays to all from everyone at Now That's What I Call Music. To order Now That's What I Call Christmas, call the number on your screen or send check or money order for $19.98 for two CDs plus $4.95 shipping and handling to the address shown. And with your paid order, you'll receive the velvet gift bag free. Rush delivery available. Order now. You want a particle accelerator? Yes, something you say. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> Stupid Adam Smasher. You can bring home Madagascar on DVD and sing in the holidays. Jingle bells, monkey smells, mailman laid an egg. Marty thinks that Alex thinks that the camel's egg. You can buy Madagascar today and get two films and one DVD. Ready PG. He loves It's Elephant, the butterfly catching game. Catch the most butterflies and you win. I'm Elephant the Elephant. Elephant from Milton Bradley. Batteries not included. This may be the most important video you and your children ever see. Hi, I'm John Walsh, and I'm on a mission to help you teach your kids how to stay on the safe side with people they don't know and people they kind of know. Introducing the Safe Side DVD, a new interactive video to teach your kids important safety tips. Created by Julie Clark, the founder of the Baby Einstein Company, and John Walsh of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The Safe Side is always upbeat and never frightening. It was developed by parents with the help of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It's fun-filled and jam-packed with hot tips that can help your kids learn how to spot potential dangers and empower them to make smart decisions. You can order the SafeSide Stranger Safety DVD, 35 minutes of easy-to-learn safety skills with simple and effective ways to keep your kids safer. You'll also get this Hot Tips mini poster, three safety badges, the SafeSide music video, and a simple viewing guide for $19.99, plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Must be 18 years or older to call. A drill. What? I asked Santa for a reversible three-speed cordless electric drill. I'm too naughty to deserve such a nice drill. All right, pull yourself together. Let's think about this. Olive, huh? That's right. I'm sorry, Olive. We're really not such a bad bunch. When you're this far north with no sun and light, sometimes tempers pray. 
Life's hard enough, and now Santa's flight, it's been an awful day. Employment in these latitudes depends on old Saint Nick. So forgive us if we all have attitudes. We're up a frozen crack. We're not so bad. We're really sweet and funny. We're not so bad. Except for that funny. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. When you walked in, may I be frank? Of course we were suspicious. It seemed you were playing a nasty prank. That's why we got malicious. But we're not so bad, we're not so fearful. Once you get to know us, we're downright cheerful. We're not so bad, we're not so bad, we're not so bad. Now that we know you, if you ever come again, we promise not to throw you. We're not so bad, we're not so bad, we're not so bad. Go on, you guys. He can take you up in his half track. Olive, round John Virgin. Like in the Silent Night song. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, Round John can take you as far as the North Pole gates. After that, you're on your own. We'll figure out something. I'm Blitzen's cousin Schnitzel. Flightless, unfortunately. It happens. We're ready to go. Thanks, Schnitzel. The puffin's going too? That's penguin to you, pal. Good luck. And Merry Christmas. Do I look like a puffin? Good luck, Olive. And I'm sorry I was such a jerk earlier. It's okay, Round John. You're not the only one who's let their emotions get the better of them today. Hey, thanks for the ride. Here, high-quality office supplies for you. Gee, City Zoo envelopes. Thanks. Merry Christmas. if there's a casino. Anonymous high-ranking elves are confirming that Santa will shortly make a statement officially canceling his traditional Christmas Eve flight. Your reaction, little doggy? Um, I think that maybe... Uh, my client has no comment at this time. You better get in there. I don't know why, but you even got me believing this is going to work. I'm Olive, the new reindeer. I'm here to help pull Santa's sleigh. Olive, Olive. No Olive on my list. But Santa said on the radio that he was counting on Olive, the other reindeer. That's me. I'm filling in for Blitzen. I can't let you in. But I have to... No. Isn't there someone who I could talk... No. Don't you even care? Let me think. No. <sighs> well... No. Now move along or I'll have you arrested. And I'm warning you, the fence is protected by alarms. So just go back where you came from. But I... <sighs> Time to think of plan B. Hmm. While you're thinking, maybe I'll just go use that payphone. Payphone? Yes! <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Huh? Center. Oh, we'll send a man over right away, sir. Good. It'll be a penguin, actually. A penguin. Oh, he'll have it working in no time. Well, I'll be here till six. All right, then. Goodbye. You know, this could be an exfoliated carburetor or a decaffeinated dodecahedron. What? Let me get out my tools. Hmm. Oh, yes, I see. I'll just have to recalibrate the uh, time. I'll need you to kill the alarms along the fence for a minute, though. What? Well, otherwise, the electromagnetic wave will interfere with the signals from the satellite. Well, all right. <laughs> it just needs the complimentary engraving. E-L-F. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? I'll tell you what, I'll have it back to you on Monday. And I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Merry Christmas. Special delivery, more children's letters to Santa. <laughs> Let's do the press conference, boss, and hope for better luck next year. There must be some way you could go. Can't we fly with seven reindeer? I doubt we could handle it, Chief. Maybe we shouldn't even try. So many of the kids' letters this year haven't been very nice. Dear Santa, I hate you. Don't come to my house, Johnny. Boss, that's awful. Dear Santa, lose some weight and get a real job. <sighs> Maybe it's time to retire anyway. No! Those letters are fake. Santa, I know who's been writing those letters. They're all from a very mean postman who wants to wreck Christmas. <gasps> Look at the envelopes. No postmarks. Hmm, that's true. But just who might you be, little doggy? I'm actually not a dog. I'm Olive, the replacement reindeer you asked for. I'm not quite following you, Olive. You say you're a reindeer, and I asked you to come? Right. I heard you on the radio. We always get the crazies on Christmas Eve. Never fails. Well, can you fly, Olive? Can you afford not to find out? Well, now. If you're sure all those mean letters aren't from real kids... Everyone loves you, Santa. And all over the world, everyone is hoping you'll fly tonight and make their dreams come true. I know I don't look like much, but give me a try for all those good folks who deserve what they've asked for. I guess they'll understand if you can't make it. But Round John Virgin sure would like that electric drill. <laughs> and my master Tim, well, maybe he does want a better dog, but mostly I think he just wants Christmas. I don't think you'll find a better dog, Olive, even if you are a reindeer. Thanks for coming. Ho, 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 people! We're flying! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell the media. Okay. Load up the sleigh. Yeah. Come on, help Olive here get hitched up. Should I tell him? Nah, it's Christmas. <laughs> so steep. Holiday rush. Lots of big shows. We've got the rush. Oh, Six nights a week. We've got premieres. Don't take a pic. Tonight, we've got the holiday special, A Christmas Dinosaur. Mom and Dad are down their spot, so I couldn't nuke these. Everyone gets hungrier around the holidays. Don't you want to come to the rush? Cartoon Network's Holiday Rush. It's Cartoon Network's Holiday Rush. Tonight at 7.30 on Cartoon Network. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. Yeah. We know. Furby toys have invaded Burger King. I got a purple one. Mine has spots. You've never seen so many Furby toys in one place. They're completely out of this world. There's a Furby toy in every kid's meal. Have it your way. When you first bring him home, Robopet is bound to raise a few eyebrows. Interactive and loaded with personality. Train Robopet with a remote control or just let him do as he pleases. Can he play dead? Please, don't get up. Robopet reacts to sound, sight, and movement. and can look after himself even when you're not by detecting table edges and obstacles. So move over, Rover. Whatever. Robopet, fusion of technology and personality. Batteries not included from Huawei. What? Did I hear that right? Uh, I'll have to check with the band. Hold on. Do you want to rock the TV five nights a week? <laughs> hi, hi, Puppy Ami Yumi. Five nights a week. Monday, Thursday at night. Only on Cartoon Network. just learned that you'd better not pout, you'd better not cry, you'd better not shout. I'm telling you why. A mysterious other reindeer has arrived to take Blitzen's place. As of now, the flight is on again. I'll be darned, she really did it. Who's she? What's going on? Well, see, um, earlier today... Mm. <laughs> oh, she had a crap.
clear sense of mission. Cares deeply about Christmas. Close, close friend of mine for years. Not, not, not housebroken, not to my knowledge. She is housebroken. <laughs> there you go. By the way, where's Rudolph? There's no Rudolph. It's just one of those urban legends. Sleigh's loaded. Everyone ready? Ready. <laughs> All of the other reindeer, huh? Well, why not? It's a season of miracles. Good luck, kid. Oh, thanks, Comet. Santa, one niner, niner, niner. Cleared for takeoff on 22 left. Punch it, boys! <laughs> Dog style, but hey, whatever works for you. You had me worried for a minute there, though. Are we good to go? Comet? Ho, ho, ho. I think so. Just don't pick up any hitchhikers. You okay, Olive? <laughs> I'm solid. <laughs> down in history. Fine. Fly as much as you want. You're still out of business. Because this year, even though I've been naughty, I got all the toys. <laughs> the laws of breaking and entering, as they pertain to Santa, are unclear. Hmm. Excuse me. And look, I got another present. I must have been extra bad this year. Mm, let's see. Mm, doll, Jack in the Box, uh, cordless drill. Aha! Here we go. The train set that should have been mine when I was a kid. That was the year Santa started putting me on his naughty list. He didn't cut me any slack, so I'm not cutting him any slack. Old fat boy's finished. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. We're only at the first house and I'm beat. You want some lichen flavored gum? It'll perk you up. What's this? Credit card offers? Catalogs? Sweepstakes mailings? Bad news, gang. Somehow we got the wrong sack. This is all junk mail. What? Santa, let me smell that mail. The postman. I knew it. Let's go. But where? Just head north. Sooner or later, I'll pick up the scent. <laughs> it's getting awfully late. This way. Get 
Included. Hey, look, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. Now you can have a Thomas with real steam, and his steam is cool to the touch. He's puffing to the station. Then off we go again. Make tracks to great destinations with the Steam Along Thomas set. Batteries not included comes with everything you see here, only from Tommy. Want to skate with Tony Hawk? Oh, yeah, no. right. But hey, at least you can make some cool videos like him. The Tony Hawk helmet cam attaches to your gear. Shoot video anywhere. Make sure you don't miss a thing. Any sport, sweet. All your best moves. <laughs> its software lets you add special effects, music, even pro footage. <laughs> the Tony Hawk helmet cam, only from Digital Blue. Nice. Only at Nothing brightens your child's day like their favorite songs. Now Time Life Music brings you a new collection. 100 best love songs for kids for just $24.99. One hundred songs for kids on four CDs or four cassettes for just twenty-four ninety-nine. One hundred songs for kids. If you're not completely satisfied, Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. So call now for one hundred songs for kids. Call one eight hundred five nine two three three eight eight to order one hundred songs for kids for twenty-four ninety-nine plus shipping. your stunt double. Oh, go on. Are you okay, Martini? <laughs> Shaken, but not stirred. Anyway, all the toys are here. Also, a cordless drill. Huh? Uh, thanks for your help, Martini. I'd offer you a lift in the sleigh, but Comet says no hitchhikers. Just our luck that you're flightless. Hey, don't worry about me. I'll drive home. I mean, how hard can it be? Plus, someone's got to take care of Mr. Zip. Ooh. Hmm. Cardboard wings. Time to go, ho, ho! Coming! Thanks for everything, Martini. What will you do now? Uh, you know, I'll do a little loan shocking, sell a little lamb way. Don't worry about me. Merry Christmas, Alice. Merry Christmas, Martini. Uh -huh. Great job getting the toys back, but we're way behind schedule. Any chance we could go faster, gang? Warp speed, Captain! Ho, ho, ho! I don't have antlers, I don't have hooves. How flying works, I have no clue. But now I've got the reindeer moves.
wings are strings to fly on Christmas Day. So that all is said to remind you on this Christmas Eve. It's all right there inside you. I guess I could deliver this stuff. It's not as glamorous as helping Santa. But there'll be trouble if the folks can't enter their sweepstakes. Besides, Christmas gratuities. That's it! All done! Excellent work, boys! And three cheers for Olive, the other reindeer. Hooray! After we get home and relax for a while, we usually go out for some reindeer games. Will you join us? Maybe. Hey, it's my house. Fido and Tim. Well, think about it. Oh, no. That Arctic fog. Olive, I'm sorry, but we're lost in the fog. Could you smell us home? Mrs. Claus is baking cookies. Cookies? Mmm, gingerbread. Ten degrees starboard. Now it's Olive the other reindeer. Then it's the Codename Kids Next Door holiday special. This is Cartoon Network. Direct TV is leading the way with more programming choices than anyone else. And with so much to choose from, it's good to get any help you can. Introducing Direct TV Mix Channels. Six of the most popular sports, news, or kids shows, all on one screen, all in one place. Making your viewing easier. Just another example of Direct TV rethinking the way television should be. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. She got a silver pink dress with the fuzz all over it. But it was it was my dress. Whatever. No, it wasn't. It was just pants. I got a swimsuit for my bear. We saw princess dresses. You just pick the ones you want, carry them home, and sleep with them like this. Build a bear workshop where best friends are made. Because it's our favorite it. place. It's our favorite place. Plus, everybody's at the Honey Geyser to make Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, because here comes the honey. Where's it going? Honey, it's being sucked into that mummy's too. I've only got one shot. No! Yes! Buzz, you say it. So's our honey. So everybody can have delicious honey nut Cheerios. It's the honey sweet part of a good breakfast from a hive that's nuts about honey. When you first bring him home, RoboPet is bound to raise a few eyebrows. Interactive and loaded with personality. Train RoboPet with a remote control or just let him do as he pleases. Can he play dead? Please, don't get up. RoboPet reacts to sound, sight, and movement. It can look after himself even when you're not by detecting table edges and obstacles. So move over, Rover. Whatever. RoboPet, fusion of technology and personality. Batteries not included from Huawei. Cartoon Network. Holiday 
rush. Lots of great shows. We've got the rush. Tomorrow night, we've got the holiday special, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Grandma, watch out! The Cartoon Network's Holiday Rush, tomorrow night at 7.30 on Cartoon Network. Now, it's all of the other reindeer. Then, it's the Codename Kids Next Door holiday special. This is Cartoon Network. Olive, I'd be honored if you'd call me Comet, the other dog. Sure, but first, cookies! Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta hand it to you, Olive. You saved Christmas. No, I only convinced everyone else to do their best. Oh, don't you be so modest, Olive. You were great. And now, ho, ho, ho! Presents for the staff and crew. Oh, Uh, Bob, from an insurance point of view, the jump rope's probably not a wise idea. Olive, here's something for you. <gasps> Thank you. I know I'm not really a reindeer, but I'm proud I could help anyway. You've all been so wonderful. I'd love to stay, but I really must go home. I thought so. Let me finish my cappuccino and I'll give you a lift. Bye, Olive. Bye. Bye. We'll Bye, miss Olive. you. Merry Bye. Christmas, Olive. Bye. I'll keep in touch. Merry Christmas. <gasps> Look, it's Martini. Martini, you helped save Christmas. We saw you on TV. Oh, well, I hope it was a color set. Black and white doesn't do me justice. I'm pleased to offer you your old position back, Martini. The zoo can always find room for an extraordinary, flightless aquatic bird who attracts media attention. And we've been a little short-handed since the monkeys escaped. Oh, it's tempting, but I think I can get you an even better penguin. Is Christmas? Huh? Merry Christmas, Tim. I hope you're not too mad at me. Olive! I was so worried you'd never come back. I'm sorry I was so mean. Can you ever forgive me? I was so upset about Santa that I forgot I have the best dog in the whole world. Wow, and the best reindeer, too. Merry Christmas, Olive. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're the best. Thank <laughs> you. 